All right, we're back again. Third and probably final video on the Common Snapper Turtle Skull Project. We got this taped up with some clear tape. Uh, we've got it taped up because there's so many joints in there that are loose and it's just so hard. That occipital condyle, I'm sorry, uh, supraoccipital right there, that's the bone that goes down the center of the skull and it holds two large chunks of muscle that operate the jaws. The muscle goes down with uh, tendons, ligaments, I'm not sure what the anatomical name is exactly for those structures, but they go down and they, they hook to the lower jaw. They hook in those holes right there and they go down the length of the jaw right there and they support the jaw and then they, they help close the jaw. So the muscles in the back of the skull right there operate those uh, ligaments, tendons, whatever they're called, and uh, operate the lower jaw. The uh, occipital condyle is right there. That's what all the vertebrae attach to in the spinal column. And uh, this is a very large common snapping turtle skull. The shell of this turtle surprisingly wasn't that large. It was a female. And surprisingly it just wasn't a giant turtle. But the skull is pretty large. So that indicates to me that it's an old turtle because the head kept growing. And uh, these are tomium pieces. These are the coverings of the jaws themselves. And they, they were broken. This animal was hit by a car. They were broken, so I'm taping them up. There's some tape right there and some glue. I've got some glue in there. I've got them taped to the right size or to the right structure so that they can, they can be mounted back onto the jaw themselves. But that's the uh, tomium. It's like a fingernail piece, and it's relatively thick. In the cross section of the fracture, the, uh, they seem to be like two millimeters thick, which is uh, pretty hefty. And if this is damaged when the turtle's alive, it grows back over time. It might take one or two years to grow back perfectly, maybe three to grow back perfectly, but it will grow back if the turtle damages its jaws. And uh, we're going to leave that right there. So I wanted to just tell you all about the, uh, the big uh, jaw pressure that this turtle can exert. It's not quite as hefty as an alligator snapping turtle, but it's still a pretty hefty, uh, hefty creature. So we got a nice specimen of a skull all taped up and glued up. And uh, there we go. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much.